you say, the yeah. chlorophyll built the blood in the stomach. Please talk about this, how built the body with the blood. And what is the function of this protein? Well, chlor chlorophyll as, as, as a molecule of a plant is the blood of the plant, and it, it actually holds the light force of the electrical potential. Through, through a process of photosynthesis, mm. chlorophyll is the molecule that absorbs sunlight, which makes plants green. So it's the major. So when you eat the blood of plants, you actually are absorbing sunlight. Okay, it's held within that molecule. The only difference between hemoglobin and, and uh, chlorophyll is the center atom. So chlorophyll center atom is, is magnesium. The center atom for hemoglobin is iron. And if you understand my nuclear transformation theory, which will, if I haven't blown your minds yet, I mean, that just takes you to another mind-blowing step. You know, going, okay, this guy's not only crazy, he's you know, doubly crazy, okay? But what I'm saying there is, is iron is actually a transformation of magnesium. Mm -hmm. And it happens at the, at the nucleus level of the atom. It's called, it, and it happens at zero point energy. And these things are just, it's like, hey, come over here, you know, protons. You know, I need, I need you to share some of your protons. And oxygen gives those up freely. When oxygen gives up its protons to sodium, what does it become? It becomes potassium. When hydrogen gives up its proton to sodium, what does it become? It becomes magnesium. The body has the ability to create everything it needs, and the, one, and the foundational element is salt. So from one element, sodium, one ion, sodium, and then we take the chloride ion. So we have sodium chloride salt, but we've got, we've, got, we've got two elements there. We've got sodium, we've got chloride. Out of those two elements, the chloride, the pathway to iron is chloride. Do you realize that you build your hemoglobin by just taking salt? I mean, what I'm telling you is revolutionary. It writes all of the books all over. You just have to take a magic eraser. We're not only talking about the human body, we're talking about chemistry. We're talking about nuclear science and an understanding of uh, when, when you're looking at amino acids, for example, out of nowhere, from a seed, a sprout creates amino acid just by adding water to it. And from various specific elements, there's nuclear transformation that takes place. You don't get this from eating meat. You know, our flesh is created out of blood. And when we realize it's created out of blood, then we focus on the chlorophyll. And when we focus on the chlorophyll, then we can build these fibrous materials. And we don't get it from eating other animals. You don't build muscle by eating somebody else's muscle. It's, it's really quite, uh, you know, kind of a morbid thought. If you think it logically and put on your common sense hat. So, not to take issue with anyone, this is just my thinking. And, and when I take these thoughts, we apply this clinically. We just don't flippantly say stuff. We can back it up with case study after case study after case study. We measure hemoglobin. We measure hematocrit. We measure red counts. We measure white counts. We measure sodium. Plasma sodium and interstitial sodium as well as potassium, as well as magnesium. Who is doing this in the world today? Name one other scientist. That's why my work is so revolutionary. And also it's so threatening at the same time because it turns upside down everybody's ideology and what they think is right. You know, especially when I come out with this statement about the stomach. But now I've got friends on the other side because it's not me just saying this. We've got universities, you know, and published research that is, that is saying that stem cells are made in the crypts of the small intestine, validating something that I've been saying for the last three decades. You know, and this whole idea of not drinking, you know, water with your meals, you know, when I, when I have my patients apply that principle, all of their indigestion goes away. All of their nausea goes away because we're neutralizing the very thing that causes nausea, hydrochloric acid. And we're building up the salt 
So it can use salt with water and carbon dioxide, so the stomach, stomach has the primary elements it can make sodium bicarbonate, which is the number one element. Because if, if you use up your sodium bicarbonate reserves, then you start using up your hemoglobin reserves, because that's the second in line for the body to buffer excess acidity. And that's where all the anemic, anemic conditions come from.